Hey friends, I am Kalul Ghosh and today I am going to show you how to configure RIP on a Cisco router. So you are ready? So let's just do. First open the Cisco packet tracer. I have already taken two pieces here and in this network too. So I have configured the interfaces with the, those IP. This interface is configured with 10.10.10.1, the CRF OS 30. And this is 10.10.10.2. And this first Ethernet network is 100.100.100.0 CRFLS24. And this interface is configured with 100.100.100.1. And as well as this, same. So let's just do the RIP. So just go to the router, go to CLI mode. So first enable the router. To enable the router, press EN and enter. And next, go to configure mode configure terminal so and type the command right now router rip and press enter so you can I am configuring the router for uh, router rip version 2 so to configure rip version 2 just type rip oops v e r s i o n space 2 version 2 and if you are going to configure only version 1 you, ha you haven't to type anything others so just if you want to configure the version 2 you have to type first the version 2 and in here you have to give the network that the router is directly connected this router is direc directly connected with this network and this network so you have to put those two networks in this card terminal so type here network 10.10.10.0 and enter and again type network and type the fast ethernet network 0 enter and end with control z and wr so exit from this router and go to next router do as i uh, have done is done in this router so this router connected with these two networks so go to the router first enable the router go to configuration mode and type router rip version 2 and type here the networks 10.10.10.0 enter and again type the network the first ethernet network enter end with control z and wr and exit from the router so let's just give the ip to the hosts so open first go to desktop and go to ip and give her the ip addresses 5 subnet mask is 0 and give her the default gateway default gateway is this this interface this interface is 100.100.100.1 so it's close to the default gateway and close this is 100.100.100.10 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the give the default gateway here the subnet mask, this is uh, class A IP, but the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 because I have taken the CIDR value 24. So let's give the IP to those hosts. Not 5. And give the default gateway. And give the IP here dot 10 this is the default gateway so this is configured with rip so let's see so type ping space the destination IP address 200.100.100.10 the first will be request timeout and after that will be re sending packets 
so you can see that and try from here ping hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot ten the first will request timeout and after that it will send you packets so it is communicating and if you want to thoroughly go to the router and first enable the router and type here show IP route and press enter so this two networks 10.10.10.0 and 200.100.100.0 is directly connected and 100.0 it is connected uh, with the dynamic protocol route rip so for this this here is our signature so this is how to configure rip uh, rip version 2 uh, on a cisco router that you can try in gns3 also so friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share where you can i am kalul ghosh thanks for watching